Hey everyone, so today we're doing more of Psychic Medium Maria Hill reacting to paranormal stories on Reddit. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. We have a site with resources and answers to a lot of your questions you guys ask us about, so make sure to click the link down below or visit thehappyfeelingshop.com. Zach Korth writes, was in my friend's mom's minivan. There were four of us and we were just talking and laughing. Then it got quiet for no good reason and at the exact same time, all four of us put our seat belts on in complete silence. Five minutes later, the van got T-boned. We were all fine and standing around the smashed van. We looked at each other and talked about how weird that was. Yeah, that's freaking crazy. Right? And I tell people this all the time that, you know, big life events like births and deaths and, you know, what family you're going into and all that. Um, are usually pre-planned because they have such a huge impact on not only your life but every other life that touch that touches yours in your in your existence in whatever life you're living so you know a lot of times like you hear these crazy stories about people that should have died but didn't but then you hear other stories where someone died from some dumb stupid seemingly like impossible thing and it's like why that's not fair like why does it happen and in this case, they all just got like a download and just follow the directions. It was just like an intuitive download inter intervention. And that's because it wasn't their time. And if they were to have been taken out too early, it could have caused a whole crazy thing in the timeline. So, you know, there it happens the way it happens. It's hard for us to process this, but this is an example of like, it was not your time to go. And those of you who've had um, near-death experiences may be able to relate to this and, and feel like you were given a second chance. Perhaps you're just, let uh, left to continue on that path that you're supposed to be on. Puffin eats muffins, right? <laughs> I fell and hit my head in the middle of the night, 250 miles away from my identical twin sister. She woke up and felt something was wrong. Then my mom got the call from the ambulance. Oh my God. Yeah, this is like, another... I've heard about this where it's like mm -hmm. some people that are so close to each other can be tethered where they can feel the pain of someone really close exactly it i mean it's wild um but this is probably one of the most common types of kind of paranormal or spiritual like i don't know psychic stories i've, I've heard is getting a phone call that's like timed about someone's death or something happening to someone or knowing and knowing about it and then getting a phone call you know it's just like or what I mean by knowing about it is like getting an intuitive kind of feeling. It could be a dream, it could be anything, and then getting a call or whatever it is in the physical world. And um, it just shows like how linked we all are. And like you're saying, like people who have a certain connection can kind of perhaps have more of these types of experiences. Like if you've ever had a moment with like a best friend or family member where you were just thinking about them and then they call you, you know, like that's a classic example, of like kind of a positive lighthearted version of this, but it could also happen with big things like a death or an injury or something like that. We'd like to take a moment today to share some great resources with you. As you're exploring on your spiritual journey, it can be confusing to know what to listen to and how to trust the information that you're getting. One thing we learned was that having help and guidance along the way was invaluable. We offer online courses that are perfect for you if you want to develop your psychic abilities, become a certified energy healer, heal from grief and loss, or even learn how to build and get paid for your spiritual gifts and hobbies. If you're looking for connection, events, and perks, we are so excited to announce the launch of our Happy Healing Club, our membership that includes so many perks such as deep dives into spiritual metaphysical topics like reincarnation, exclusive channeled messages, themed events, numerology and palm reading workshops, shadow work, self-healing journals, and membership forum where you can chat and message with other like-minded people in our safe community, and so much more. Learn more about it by checking out our website, thehappyhealingshop.com, or click the link below that will take you straight there. Now back to the episode. Pablo Diablo 906 writes, I knew about a month before my late wife was diagnosed with terminal cancer that she was going to die of cancer. I told her what I felt and that she should get checked out. She didn't believe me. When we found it, it was too late. My dog Jasmine just died of cancer. I knew I'd lose her this year back in December. I don't know how I knew, but I could feel it. She passed in my arms. When I was young, I had a grandfather-like figure that I grew very close to. He too died of cancer. Months before his diagnosis, I told my mom he'd get sick soon and die. He did. I'm not sure how I've known when all the people close to me die of cancer. I can't explain it. I've known every time. 
Yeah. So some people have a, and I have, we have a lot of clients that report this. <laughs> They're just naturally very psychic. And there's this gift, uh, this, this, uh, I, I would call, well, this is, this is almost like a medical intuition type gift being a medical intuitive, but some people are medical intuitives only in like specific categories. And some people are like more broad medical intuitive where they could see just like anything medical intuitives. I, I would say aren't like particularly like super common am amongst like psychic abilities. Um, there's also medical mediums where, you know, someone's getting information from the other side that helps them to see. Um, what's going on in someone's body but in this case this is like a precognition medical intuition thing and um we have a lot of clients that say like i get dreams about someone before they're gonna die and it's scary and it makes me anxious all the time it's like it it, it it can almost feel like why me like this is like a curse you know and as a psychic medium myself like i've i've had this happen as well many times um and you know this even happened Trang and I know someone who, you know, uh, when we were hanging out with them and I met them for the first time, and I immediately knew like they weren't, they were going to pass away soon. But I, I was just like overwhelmed because like, imagine shaking someone's hand for the first time and that's what you're getting from them. Like the, this most intimate kind of thing. And sure enough, that's, that's what happened. And that's not information I wanted to know about, but you kind of have to learn to compartmentalize and enjoy the time that you have with everyone. Um, inevitably you're going to have some anxiety, you know, if you care about people, especially, um, and then you get this information, but it, it is part of the gift and it's all about channeling, creating boundaries, um, bringing things through when you, when you need the information, trying to, to compartmentalize when you don't, um, because it can be overwhelming. And, uh, how would you tell someone that kind of has an inkling of a gift like this to, if they just don't want to know anymore, like, they're just like. I'm starting to get these feelings. I just don't want to know because it's, it's, I don't, I just don't want to know. Um, how would they go about with that? But you can definitely like tone down the intensity of your gift. It's not permanent. It's it, your gift just doesn't go away. You can, you can kind of like mentally block it out with enough focus. Um, but you know, stuff will still slip through because that's just naturally how you are. And if you're kind of pretending to be something you're not, you know, like your energy is still trying to be itself, trying to be in its natural state. And if you're shutting it down artificially, then, you know, that takes a lot of energy sometimes to keep that up. Um, but it's totally healthy to have boundaries where you're like, you know, I do not want in person information about my loved ones, unless there's something I can do about it. You know, if there's nothing I can do about it, I, I do not want to know. And you can try that and, you know, see how that goes. And it, like I said, it may not be perfect, but it may help with some of the the kind of intrusions if, if it's affecting your mental state a lot. And also just, just understanding the nature of our existence and how fleeting <laughs> these lives even are to begin with can also help us understand why these things happen more. Well, that does it for this episode. If you like what we're doing here and if you haven't become a patron or member of our community yet, you can do so by clicking down below or visit thehappyfeelingshop.com. It helps us to keep putting out content out there, keeps the lights fun for us and helps others while we do it. And if you got value out of this video, please make sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe button down below and also share it with a person in your life that you know would enjoy this.